The best way to get your pet's face clean, eye boogers, the debris around their mouth, food gets stuck in here. If you have a flea comb, you're gonna need one. My favorite product is the TropiClean Spa Facial. It doesn't burn, it cleans amazingly well. It will not burn the eyes, it's very safe. Let me show you how to use it. The foam boosting power of this product is really impressive too, I gotta tell you. But it's so gentle on their eyes and their mouth. I'll link a video in the card right now of me applying this product to my face, washing my face with it to see if it burned my eyes. So you gotta go check that out if you want a good laugh. But anyway, you just really, you, you pre-wet your dog's face, lather the product on and let it sit a little bit. I'll also link a video in the card right now demonstrating how to use the TropiClean Facial Scrub. After you've let it sit on those grimy areas for about four minutes, then you gently just remove the buildup with a flea comb. It slides right out gently. Be very gentle and patient. It'll slide right out. This buildup can really cause irritation on your dog's face, on their skin, so it's really important to remove it. These are the types of things you guys should really be taking care of at home, especially during this COVID-19 time where you're worried your dog can't get to the groom or you really need to take care of their skin and coat and stop stressing over giving them a haircut. Speaking of haircut, this is my husband's beard trimmer. This is my husband's mustache trimmer, beard trimmer, you trimmer trimmer. Don't go at your dog with this. You will very much so injure their skin. It is way too short. It will cause major clipper irritation to their skin and they may never be cool with grooming again if you touch their skin with a beard trimmer. So don't do it. This is a professional pet clipper. This is the Wall KM10. This is the one that I always recommend. You guys know that. There are other clippers that can do the job. I have a wonderful clipper video. It tells you everything you need to know about pet trimmers. What to buy, what not to buy. I'll link that in the card for you now too. It's also in the playlist I made for you guys to groom your dog at home. Now listen closely. This is a major secret. I brush every dog after I have washed them, toweled them off, get them back out of the tub. This little guy's up on a grooming table right now. He's still damp. I've only toweled him off. This is a true secret how to help your dog's skin and coat at home to really rejuvenate the skin. It, it will continue to pull dead hair out of the coat if you go ahead and gently brush through the skin and coat after you bathe them before they're dry. Just keep in mind, the skin is soft right now because it was just bathed, so it's tender. Just be gentle, but it's a wonderful tip. I'm telling you how to bathe your dog at home. I'm telling you how to take care of the skin and coat because that is what you really can do at home right now. I know a lot of you don't know how to trim your dogs. You think you have to. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to give them a haircut. But if we do have to do any trimming, you stay put because I got it covered in this demo. Dry, itchy, flaky skin, smelly dog. This is how you cure it, guys. The bath, the brushing, and these bathing tips. And if you really, really want to give your dog a haircut at home, home there are dangers involved and I have wonderful videos on my channel to show you how to do it as well as keep you from making terrible mistakes when you're grooming your dog. Don't hesitate to reach out to me in the comments of videos and I can guide you to get the information that you may be looking for. We're gonna rinse the majority of this off and I'm gonna condition her. I recommend you condition every dog every time. It just helps to balance out the skin and coat. It helps you to be able to get through the skin and coat with your trimming and your brushing and your flush drying. Now we're gonna rinse chubs. Hold the nose down and I only rinse that for a second. I'll move on to another part. I do need to make sure that I thoroughly rinse out of her anything out of her eye area and her mouth you just got to get in there and do it guys that's how you that's how you rinse their faces don't be afraid of the face keep that ear hanging down and the water will run right off the ear you don't want the water running into the ear hole now we're going to condition i've pre-mixed my conditioner this is a davis conditioner pure planet something and it's it's dilutable it's pre-mixed you want to get those ears nice and conditioned the beard everywhere and these dilution bottles are so awesome and make it easy to apply product to your dogs these mixing bottles 
are very inexpensive. They're linked in the description. All your products are dilutable. And I like to let this conditioner, any conditioner, sit on my dogs for, you know, maybe three, three to five minutes. Just let it do its job in the, in the skin. Now I'm gonna take the large end of a comb and I'm just gonna comb the face a little bit. I know there was debris build up. It's all come out very easily. We're going to comb through these little ears. This is just going to comb that conditioner through and make her face so easy to scissor finish and fluff dry. It's just, uh, it's great to use combs in the tub. Even just to run them down their body like this, it gently is so stimulating for their skin, okay? And their coat. We're gonna heavily rinse her with lukewarm water to cool water. Okay, guys? Never too warm, never too hot. It opens up the pores and invites bacteria to get into their skin. Because there is always bacteria in water, remember? So lukewarm to cool water to rinse your dogs. You can also pinch that ear against the side of her face so we can thoroughly rinse the side of her face. But you need to thoroughly rinse your dog. You wanna get all the product off your dog every time, guys. Very, very important. Boy, you did good on that. Yeah. See, we just take, the, take our time with the face, guys. Cover the nose, rinse the face. Okay, good, we're stopping on that. Good, see, just little intervals. He'll tolerate it, but he's not gonna tolerate me standing here and just holding that water stream on him. I have to do it in intervals. Little, quick little, good boy. Remember guys, this is training for him. He's learning about being in a grooming salon. He's learning about getting a bath in a grooming salon. And he's also learning to trust me. See, I'm learning to trust my groomer right now too, guys. And it doesn't happen overnight, but it will happen. Right, Roscoe? It sure will. You really want them to feel like you're in this together. I try to always keep my hands on him, meaning that I'm with him in this. He's not alone. It's not him and the water sprayer. It's me, Roscoe, and the water sprayer. Yeah, we're in this together. That's very important. You're building trust and bonding with your puppy. Even if it's not your dog, you're bonding with them. Trust me. It's a wonderful thing. And when I see that there is absolutely no residue or bubbles or anything coming off of Roscoe, then I know that he's rinsed thoroughly. Just give him that head one more rinse. I know that's not your favorite. I'm here for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm here for you. Okay, we're good. We're done with that, okay? All right, turning the water off. Roscoe and I will see you on the grooming table where we're gonna fluff dry Roscoe. Good job. Okay, guys, I have my stand dryer warming up and we have Roscoe positioned on the table. I have a cotton ball with my ear cleaning solution soaked in it and I'm just going to wipe anything in as far as I can see into Roscoe's ears. I'm just wiping and releasing some of that ear cleaning solution down into his ear canal. That's how I have him positioned so he cannot fall off the table with, with this groomer's helper grooming loop. It's hooked here to him as well. And I'm going to slowly aim that air towards him with my stand dryer to get him used to the stand dryer. It's a little noisy and we all know that puppies and dogs, their hearing is much more intense than ours. I really would like him to learn to stand on the table like a big boy. Yes. So that he knows he's okay. Good, Roscoe. He's so beautiful, my little guy. He's doing good, guys. He's just, this is normal. He's, he's learning to accept it, and I'm trying to keep him from becoming upset about it. Because I don't want him to, to think that he should fear grooming 
for any reason whatsoever. Because I'm here with you, Roscoe. Remember, I'm right here with you. Good job. Let's trim Roscoe's little nails. They are just sharp little baby nails. We're just trimming off the little, the little hook. Good job, baby. And he does not have a dew claw. And now, basically, I am just going to keep moving that air in different directions and combing Roscoe until he dries, which it's okay, big boy won't take too long guys because he's got puppy coat and puppy coat dries rather quickly but you can see how beautifully he's coming along here how nice and fluffed out he is good job Roscoe let's go let's go shopping first stop Walmart let's go in here and see what they have to offer us guys well, we look right here, we see for $30, we've got an adjustable blade, not a detachable blade, clipper, so that means we must use snap-on cones. And here again, for $42, same thing. And for $60, same thing. We have a non-detachable blade, and we must use snap-on cones for any type of clipping, unless we're going to shave our dog with a 10. And we're not going to do that, because remember, we don't shave our dogs with a 10 blade and that is the blade that comes equipped on all these clippers that I'm showing you right now. This is what's on the shelf at Walmart guys. Now a couple of these clippers did have, they were a five and one, you know, so you can adjust the blade, but the lowest, the most length that you could leave is a 10. Of course they provide you with these very chintzy snap on cones. I'm telling you, they're not going to get through the coat. They're not going to do the job. So that is the only way you can leave any length on your dog. When I say length, I mean even like a quarter of an inch of length. Now this guy right here is heavy, it's loud, I guarantee you. It's obnoxious, the sound, your dog's not gonna like it. It's very awkward, look how big it is. It's not going to be a wonderful clipper to use on your dog. Plus, it's not a detachable blade. It's not even worth the money. So Walmart, we're out of here. Next stop, let's go to Pet Value. I love this store, so I'm anxious to see what they have on their shelves. I have trust in this store. I come here for Gus's food when I buy him kibble, and I come here for a lot of things. And I also love their bathing situation for dogs. They have great products. Great products, guys. Pet Value? Absolutely. If you want to go there and buy products, you can trust that the products on these shelves are great for washing your dog, brushing your dog, bathing your dog. I'm just wondering what we're going to feel about the products that they have to offer as far as clipping our dogs. Now, they've already set us up for success when it comes to bathing, brushing, and feeding our dogs. But what about clipping our dogs? What if we need to depend on them to provide us a good clipper? What are they going to give us? I mean, look at this bathing sprayer. It's wonderful. What about clipping? I want to clip my pet. I have one choice, actually two choices, but only one that can do the job. It's a Conair. Conair is okay. This is not so terrible. It does have some snap-on comb attachments, which is nice. It's solely dependent on the snap-on combs that are provided in this package. Non-detachable blade, is it worth $75? Absolutely not, guys. And this is the only clipper that can do a full groom. This one here, this clipper, no. This is much like a five-in-one. This clipper is only going to take care of your sanitary, the pads of the feet, you know, maybe some face trimming. It, it's This is a wimpy clipper right here. And it is 50% off, however, it should be. It's $62.99, no thanks. Neither one of these clippers are gonna get the job done guys i'm telling you right now i had a lot of hope for pet value because i love this store but they really let me down as far as clippers go so pet smart here we come let's see what you have to offer us this is another great store they do have a ton of products they offer grooming services which is wonderful but right outside of the grooming salon is their 
grooming products and I think that's perfect I think that's his ideal now they have some pretty decent choices look we have an Andis two-speed powerful clipper to choose from but they offer it to us guys it's here they have the two speeds Andis they have a Conair they have detachable blade clippers guys many on their shelves that means they know what we need to do the job and they're providing it to us I am so happy to see this pet smart I didn't think you were gonna be the one I thought it would be pet value but pet smart you nailed it you provided us the options to trim our dogs at home now this con air model that they provide is decent it's a detachable blade it will work with all blades and us wall oster you name it so the con air that pet value offered us no we can't work with anything that we have any of the equipment none of the snap-on combs nothing but this con air we can work with that however it wouldn't be my first choice but Look at this. PetSmart even has the same options on their shelf as Walmart did. Even Walmart had more options than pet value. They even have cool care to cool your blade and oil to oil your blade. So, you know, I PetSmart A+. They've got everything you need here, guys, if you want to pay the price. Because I'm going to show you. We're going to hop on Amazon, and we're going to see what we can do there. But if you needed to go today and buy what you needed, and you couldn't wait two days for shipping from Amazon, go to PetSmart. From what I'm seeing, they got the goods. They got the beef. However, they certainly are charging top dollar for it, and so be it. It is what it is. It's pet smart. Every leash, every collar, everything you buy here, you're paying at least three times as much for it, and we all know that. But my point is this. We shouldn't be led astray when we go to the stores that we trust to provide us with the equipment and the quality that we desire dangers to the dog's skin with certain blade sizes yes there absolutely are dangers to the dog's skin and coat with certain blade sizes my personal recommendation is to never use a blade size shorter than a seven on a dog's body blades shorter than a seven on the body can seriously irritate the follicle the skin causing a skin infection it could didn't say it would but it can and quite honestly, you wouldn't want to clip their coat any shorter than a seven because their coat protects their skin from things such as allergens, sun, and insects. Their coat is also the key element that regulates their body temperature. Even a seven blade, in my opinion, is too short because it leaves their skin and coat vulnerable. Also, never go any shorter than a 10 blade for sanitary or around the ears, the head. Otherwise, you can cause irritation. Another danger with clipper blades is catching the skin in areas such as the armpits, the flank, the ears, where the ear connects to the head. Those are danger zones. Yes, you can cut a dog with a clipper blade. Don't forget that, guys. Catchable clipper blades are the only type of clipper blades that you want to purchase if you're using a professional pet clipper, such as Wall, Andis, Oster, Guy, Lob, all those, Conair even has detachable. They're all universal blades, but they will only work on a clipper that is made for detachable blades. Note, there are many types of clippers on the market. Clippers for humans. There are five-in-one clippers like the Arco and the Brevera. You want to make sure that you're purchasing blades that are for a detachable clipper or you'll be disappointed when your blades arrive because they won't fit your clipper. Now we've learned pretty much everything I think we need to know about blades except for one very odd type of blade the skip tooth blade skip tooth blades look exactly like they sound with every other tooth being short the purpose of these blades is to cut through coats that may be matted tangled or very thick because of the spacing of the teeth you can easily make a mistake with them guys and you can cut your dog I do not recommend these blades. I think a 7F is fine. I don't use the skip tooth, but I thought I should let you know about them. Don't forget to refer to those links in the description of this video because it's going to explain to you what blades are suggested for what types of trim, what dog breed you're trimming. You can use various blades, but they're gonna tell you the suggestions and the safest blades for those trims. Those are some pretty good references. I hope you guys go check them out. So now let's move on. How do we take care of these precious blades that we bought? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. This is Anda's Cool Care Plus 
for clipper blades. It's a five-in-one coolant, disinfectant, lubricant, cleaner, and a rust preventative. You can also purchase this on Amazon, link in the description below. The first thing you wanna do is just use a toothbrush. I picked them up at the dollar store really cheap and get all the hair off of your blade, out from everything that's stuck in between everywhere in the blade. Turn your clipper on, reseat your blade, grab your Cool Care, which is made by Andis, and spray the whole back of your blade, including the clipping edge. While the clipper is running and the blade is running, we are wiping off any excess oil or cleaner, but you do want the product to run through the clipping surface of your blade. I clean my blades before and after every use. Now we're gonna oil our blade. I use Andis Clipper Oil and I love it. Let's put one drop at each corner of the clipping blade and then we're gonna run a bead of it right along the clipping surface, just like this and let it run. It's important to keep your blade well lubricated and cleaned, both. Both are very important. So these two products are very important for taking care of your blades. If you do so, you will get tons of life out of these blades, guys. Now grab a rag or a paper towel and let's wipe any excess oil or cleanser off of this blade and it's ready for the next use. And it's cool care and Andis Clipper Oil. That's all you need, guys, to take care of these blades. And a toothbrush. The video has helped you guys like it and share it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to share more of these secrets with you.